Okay, welcome to Chiba and Arts. This is lesson 13, The Tale of the Peacock. If you remember on lesson 12, we finished in this position. So the next movement, weight on your front foot, you rotate without adjusting the weight, turning on your right heel, drawing your left foot across into cat stance, and your left hand and right hand made to ward offs. Rotate around your fist, extend forwards and step, pressing down with your right hand. You release, both hands come up, draw in, rotate and a double push. So again, there's just the four movements. So let's try it the other way. So from here, so if we strike in this position, and again, we relax the right elbow, pivot on the left heel, right leg draws across, finish the ward off, circle around the left hand, rotate the right arm, push and step. The arms draw up, draw back into duck, rotate, and then raise the toe to monkey and step. Good. Uh, so it's fairly obvious what's going on here, if I'm just borrow Rob, so uh, if Rob has one hand forward here and one hand in that position, we've, we've seen a similar move, but it was from leopard. This time it's from dragon, so it's a bigger turn. So from this position, as I turn from here, I pivot, this hand makes the ward off, rolls around the thumb, as this punch comes in, this hand draws across. Now the next movement, as I circle, this hand presses down and this pushes in for a strike. So that the right hand is producing a bone eye, and sometimes you can imagine it actually doing that movement, controlling the arm, or just simply coming over the top to press the arm down. It will depend on the situation. The next movement, when we've um, done the strike, so this, this arm is already in this position, it's warded off thumb to the back of the hand, we rotate a little further and we open the hand as we strike, and that's what the left hand is doing. The next position is like an on guard position, and you imagine someone's coming for a double strike, and right hand comes up and left hand comes up to make a ward off, so not a ward off, have to be that way, they can actually be this way, and as long as your arms are in a sort of pyramid shape, it will work. And so then you open up from this position and open your shoulders as you push, as we've explained in previous lessons. So there's no need to go over that in detail, I think. Right, so let's recap. We start from this position, that's where we finish. As we rotate, as my belly turns, I adjust turning on this hip, and then the other leg has to draw back and across as I raise the heel. And that means that I'm not too close in, I'm not pulling the foot in. So I rotate and draw across. Now if you haven't rotated the foot enough, it's perfectly acceptable to make another slight adjustment. The main thing is when you're doing this movement, we want it all to be strong and powerful. And this hand finishes roughly in line with the top of the pubic bone, this one rotates and you're striking either to the chest or the chin. No questions? No? Right, I'll do it with my back to you and then we'll go through it with just going over the breathing. So if I do it with my back, so we have a better idea, so I've struck from this point and that is the end of the Wild Dog Retaliates. My elbow relaxes, I rotate my centre, I pivot on my right heel, I draw my left foot across, raising the heel as I do the double ward off, circle around bay and side with the right hand, expand with the left hand for the push, relax, both arms come up, the left hand stays higher than the right, open the shoulders and a strong push at the end, or a double strike. Good. 
So let's do it the other way. So we've struck over this way. So the weight's now on the right leg. Don't transfer the weight back again. Pivot on your center from that position. So we've struck. Pivot on the heel. Right arm makes the high ward off. Left hand, the low ward off. Circle. And as I circle, I open my right hand. I push down with my left. And I do a sun palm strike. I draw back into an on guard position. And this time my right hand's uppermost and open the shoulders as I do a double push or a double strike. Go through it once with the breathing. So this previous movement, which is the wild dog retaliates, the end of the wild dog retaliates, is an out breath. So all of this is an in breath from here. This is an out breath. This is an in-breath, and this is an out-breath. Same thing the other way. We finished on an out-breath, the previous sequence. In-breath, rotate, out-breath, press, push and press. In-breath, out-breath. Now you draw back in duck, there is a monkey stance in there. You draw back in duck, and then it's a lift as a toes you with your monkey stance. But it's almost, you almost lift the toes, you're moving forwards. And then that doesn't ooh, throw your weight back on your heels. Okay, is that clear? Good. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, give us a thumbs up, and we'll post another one next week.